Hey everybody, welcome back to the League of EMP, or also known as the League of Extremely Mediocre Pokemon, where we bring you some of the more lesser seen mons in the VGC realm and uh, try to make them work. Today I have a full team for you guys, and I'm not promising anything spectacular, but wait a second. These aren't extremely mediocre. This is flat out Little Cup. This is a straight up Little Cup team in VGC. Okay, so here's the original battle. Uh, I was just laddering with a team. Um, this is actually the, the, the first draft of the team that I used to win the San Bruno Premier Challenge just like last weekend. Um, on the other side, I'm on the far side, and uh, this is the team I, I I fought against this person and the latter. I was like 1400, and then I I came across this, and I was like, holy god, how is this thing? You know, how am I being placed against this at 1400? Like this person must have some kind of you know at least relatively de decent score with just pure little cup. So I'm gonna play it out, and um, I I was like, oh god. There was a point where I was really scared. I led Bisharp Salamence, kind of my go-to lead. I know Bisharp's going to get that KO on Spritzy with the Iron Head, I think. I don't really know how bulky Spritzy is. Don't know if it's running Eviolite. Turns out Fungus is running Eviolite. Sets up the Trick Room, puts in Clan Pearl, and uh, like I said before, this is the basic strategy here. Try to put everything to sleep, let Clan Pearl set up, and then go for it. I was like, nope, not going to let this happen. I go to Swagger it. Get a lucky hit in um, its confusion. I go to Thunder Wave it too. I do not want it attacking. Trap Inch ends up earthquaking. His teammate, big attack stat on Trap Inch. Like, oh my god. Um, Clan Pearl does paralyze that turn, which is great. And I get the KO, uh, thanks to my Focus Sash keeping me alive. So, and then at this point, really, Trap Inch is the only thing left on his team that can really do any damage. I set up a safeguard in case I could try to swagger future turns. But I still have a Mega Kangaskhan here. Trick Room ends. It's just going to be me KOing stuff here with Mega Kangaskhan, basically. And um, I Iron Head that slot because it was a Fairy type like two seconds ago. This Fungus taking hits so well, it could survive another one of those Iron Heads. Like, oh my god. I am eventually going to get this thing down. But look, look, Spritzy taking hits really well, too. He's forced to switch around, though. I mean, he doesn't... He or she, sorry. But... Like, once the Clamper went down and it was out of Trick Room, the game was over. But if I hadn't gotten that Swagger, you know, hit, and con hit itself in Confusion and the Paralysis and stuff, like, I could have very well been in a lot of trouble. So I was like, oh, God, what a scary team. Yeah, I was a 1400, 1401, and um, he or she was a 1353 at the time with, with that team. So I was just, whoa. I went back, looked at this, and it gave me a lot of good information as to what each of the members was using. So after that battle and seeing that my opponent was like a 1350, I was very intrigued. The team was quite strong for Pokemon, you know, whose cumulative BST probably averages below 300. I went and I tried to find out what the spreads and the movesets could be. I went through the battle and um, for the most part, I got a pretty decent spread on Spritzy um, from the, the rock slide damage it took. Got a pretty, a pretty decent idea what Fungus was running because of that, you know, Assurance and the Iron Head, the Rock Slide itself. Um, Trap Inch was there. I saw Life Orb. Some of the move sets are there. You can see Spritzy's there really to set up Trick Room. Fungus to redirect and Spore once Trick Room's up. Trap Inch with the Life Orb. It has Arena Trap, so when it comes in, it traps my opponent's non flying, non levitating Pokemon. Um, and its attack stat's actually pretty large for a little cup or just a really unevolved Pokemon. Uh, Fletching was there, never saw it, probably running the wrong set. But the team's relatively weak to grass types, so pretty sure the emphasis is on doing as much flying damage as possible. Fletchling can't learn Brave Bird, so I opted to go down to... Focus Sash after a single attack, which I hope any single other level 50 Pokemon can accomplish, and try to acrobatics from there. Clampearl's the main powerhouse of this team, really the only thing keeping this team together. Uh, without Clampearl, this team probably has like 0.06% chance of working. And then you've got a Makuhita, which also I did not see, I suspect was running Fake Out. 
Um, I don't know if with that Cobo Berry it survives anything. I didn't calc it. I was hoping to find out in testing since the team is relatively weak to Talonflame. Uh, but it's also relatively weak to Mega Kangaskhan and Makuhita's close combat, I do know, has a chance to one-shot. Maybe guarantees the one-shot. I don't know. Someone told me that. I'm not sure if it needs a boosting item or not. But I know it doesn't have Life Orb because Trap Inch does, and if it runs banned, you don't get the fake out. So this is what I thought, or at least this is what I put together. As you can see, a lot of vanilla 252, 252, 4 EV spreads because I didn't really know what else to do because I didn't know what the heck this team was doing. But it looked pretty cool. So I figured that the main strategy probably went along these lines. You start with Spritzy, which is your main trick out user, and you pair it with uh, one of your utility mods according to the situation and your opponent's team. Makuhita for the fake out to help set up trick room safely. Uh, trap Inch Arena Trap to trap into maybe non on, you know, an offensive Pokemon if you think that your opponent's going to lead more passively. Or a Fletchling if they have an Amoongus and you need to get rid of it. Then. After Trick Room's up, you switch in Fungus, and you can start... I really don't know what Spritzy's going to do. Maybe Dazzling Gleam once. I do know I gave it Psych Up um, in terms of trying to level up stats in case my opponents go up or my Clamp Roll goes up. But well, basically, you get in Fungus, and then the following turn, Fungus Spores as you switch out into Clamp Roll. And uh, from there, you Rage Powder, Shell Smash, and you're so slow, even in Trick Room with a Shell... Shell Smash, you're going last uh, pretty much 100% of the time. So no worries about that. And then you just kind of Rage Powder away the threats as you Muddy Water or I guess you could do whatever. I gave it Ice Beam too. So that's what I figured the main strategy was. If Fungus goes down, I could send in Spritzy again. I can psych up the uh, the stat changes on Clamp Pearl because with its held item Deep Sea Tooth, it doubles, what, doubles its special attack. So it's doing massive damage with that Shell Smash. Um, crazy special attack stat even for a unevolved Pokemon and then you try to win from there now it's not flawless like I said you're weak to make a Kangaskhan because it does so much damage anything that does a lot of damage you're really weak to um, Talonflame I do my I do know my Funka survived at least one Brave Bird Life Orb Talonflame so don't know if it was Adamant or Jolly but that's something and um, other grass types that can get around Fungus is redirection away from Clamp Roll. That's a problem if you can't Ice Beam one-shot them if you're not set up in time. So, that's what I got from it. Now, I did make a change after playing twice and losing the first two times. I did not like Makuhita. I thought, I'm weak to Mega Kangaskhan. I'm weak to Talonflame. This thing's not helping me because if Trick Room's not up, I'm done. And it, how am I going to get it up if they're... KOing my teammates already. So I switched it for a different Intimidator that actually had a uh, fake out. I mean, a different fake outer that actually had Intimidate. But Scrafty actually also learns uh, like double team. So I can send it out next to Spritzy, fake out, start double teaming, and psych that up. So long as, you know, everything goes according to plan. Now, nothing ever goes according to plan with this team, but that's the basic idea. So I replaced Scrafty for Makuhita, ran the rest with the hopes of. Set up Trick Room, get in Fungus, get a safe switch in for Clamp Pearl, Shell Smash, and try to win. Now, did it work? Well, let's find out. This is how it goes. And this is this was my first game with it. Um, I live Fletchling Spritzy. It tur <laughs> turns out, I don't think this is the Fletchling set. It's pretty bad. But, um, you know, Acrobatics, Focus Sash, but I never got a chance to attack. I'll get up Trick Room. That's great. Lapras is going to be a big pain in the neck. I don't think I can KO it. I'm going to put it to sleep, but, I mean, Gujra probably has Gooey. Like, these two by themselves are probably going to take apart this team. Even the resisted Fire Blast did almost half to my Clamp Roll. It's probably going to finish me off right now. Well, I Rage Powdered, but, I mean, like, oh, I got the crit. It just was not a good day. I got an Avoid, so, but I really, as you guys can tell, I can't hit Lapras anymore. I do go, and I'm able to one-shot Gudra, so that's that's pure strength. Like, that's ridiculous how powerful Clamp Roll is. Um, at the time, Spritzy was not running Psych Up, so it was running like Aromatherapy, but I just, it just, 
Rotom Heat avoided the Muddy Water. Definitely would have taken out Rotom Heat. I could have brought this down to two. But I was like, uh, okay. A, I'm never bringing Fletchling again. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. And yeah, that didn't didn't help me out. I got doubled immediately. It's a cool idea with um, Swords Dance acrobatics once you get rid of the sash because it's so weak um but i was like ah eh, i'll just maybe if they have an amoongus i have to get rid of i'll bring it that's it makuhita i just i really wanted to intimidate i really thought intimidate and the fake out i know people run makuhita because it's able to one shot mega kangaskhan with close combat yes makuhita can one shot mega kangaskhan with close combat and that's why you know it's slow and it fits well in the team but i didn't think mega kangaskhan would be that much of a problem if i can get the trick room and the clamp roll up so i moved on and um this is my second battle all right so my second game i pull up against ola 69 four man strong team and i think to myself oh god i can actually do this i can actually win one maybe so as you can see here's the new member i added scraggy intimidate fake out it's got all the good stuff i gave it double team because why not i don't know you know you get desperate so the ditto does transform into my own scraggy kind of gets the short end of the stick here because it's just so mostly useless. Um, it's Scarfed. It fakes out my Spritzy. I fake it out trying to keep it from faking me out. But I'm not afraid of Salamence here. Doing its Dragon move isn't going to... I mean, I don't care if Scraggy goes down. In fact, if Scraggy goes down, that's probably better off for me. Start to set the double team. Not really for you know, a clear apparent reason. I pull a double switch here because I figure none of these things... He's not going to Draco Meteor into Clamp Pearl. He's already at half special attack. Um, he goes into Scraggy. Fungus takes that up like a boss. Beginning of the turn, we're so slow. I get to sleep um, the potential threat, and I get to go up in um, all of my stats with Shell Smash. Not expecting this double edge from Salamence. However, now that now that it's asleep, I'm going to spend my time here muddy watering as Fungus just soaks up the damage. Uh, I did Rage Powder there because I wanted to get rid of this uh, freaking Greninja because it's scary, and two Muddy Waters are going to finish out both of these. I get to Psych up. Look at these stats. I clean the field. Two Pokemon on here. Crazy attack, special attack. Both of them are still, I mean, you know, slow. Don't get me wrong. I figure, hey, what's it going to do? Probably try to take out the real threat, which is Clamp Pearl. So Spritzy stays in here. Taking that hit pretty well. Get up Trick Room again. And um, you're going to see this Muddy Water finish off the game. So in Trick Room with Clamp Pearl... Um, I'm not sure if my opponent, my original opponent, ran Psych Up, but I like it because it makes Spritzy actually a threat, and especially after they take out the rest of the team. You set up Trick Room, put in Clamp Earl, let the team die, you know, send in Spritzy as Trick Room's ending. You get a Psych Up, or you can reset up Trick Room, or do both, and uh, it's really powerful. So, super hype, Little Cup Team 1, Ola 69-0, hype, 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 because it's Little Cup. So I was like, wow, okay, let's try again. This is my very next match. So this is my third game with the team. And uh, don't get me wrong, this is still right around the bottom of the ladder. I don't expect this team to ever... 1350 was very impressive for my original opponent. Don't get me wrong. But we'll see here. Um, same same game plan here. I'm going to go with Spritzy, and I'm going to go with Trap Edge this time because I thought I could do big damage to uh, this Raichu, which was pretty clearly going to start just because they almost always do. Um, and I kind of wanted to try out Trap Inch. I'm going to get Encored, but I don't I don't know why I didn't. I, I used Fake Out. Oh, I used Protect. Why didn't? Oh, 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 my ability, Aroma Veil. Yeah. Hype. Can't I Encore me. Um, I do get the Crunch off. That does a lot of damage, especially considering it's just a Trap Inch. Breaking Subs. Switching in Fungus because I knew he was going to Toxic that slot. I can't put Gliscor um, to sleep. So I'm going to keep crunching it just to keep off the subs if I can, and uh, put Raichu to sleep here. He's going to go for an Earthquake. KO is on Raichu. Hopefully, and thank God, KO is my Trap Inch. Now I'm going to be able to send in this Clamp Roll for free. And this is where it's at. I have a Fungus on the field. I have a Clamp Roll about to start Shell Smashing. I can put the Salamence to sleep. KO the Gliscor. I don't even need Shell Smash. They're both four times weak to Ice. Now I can threaten the Greninja with another Spore. He goes to sleep. Ice Beam the Salamence. Done. No big deal. Clamp Pearl Special Attack is so big. It's so big. Muddy Water. Do I go for the Giga Drain and I get the crit and I get the KO? And look at that. Three full health Pokemon basically on my side. So that was a back-to-back -back victory. And I was like, oh my god, what is this Little Cup nonsense? How is this happening? 
So I play some more matches with it, and you know, it goes both ways. Um, you really need it to set up just like this in order to win, and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Um, I have a couple, just a couple more battles here for you, but there definitely is more potential. Like, look at this. Look at this team I'm playing against. This is Seijun's team. This is someone who went and took the world champion's team and is using it on showdown, and I have nothing that has evolved. Go with my my go-to league, Scraggy and Spritzy. Get the fake out, get the, you know, get the intimidate, get the trick room up, hopefully. That's that's the game plan. Um, really wanted that intimidate because Talon Flame is so scary to this team. Fake out the Talon Flame. Get out of here. Sets up the trick room. Now I'm here. He sends in Gyarados, which is cool with me. That's fine. Um, he reset that intimidate. <laughs> Spritz becomes completely useless right now. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I did give Scraggy Snarl just to like kind of hurt special attackers in Trick Room, but the true magic comes in when Fungus, Fungus comes in. I know Gyarados isn't really going to do much damage to Clamperl, so I go to sleep the Gardevoir and get Clamperl in. Gyarados thankfully protects, trying to make a right predict on the sleep. Didn't make it. Spore the other slot. Boom, goes up for a shell smash. Now, we are in Clamp Pearl's domain. We have entered the magical mystical sea of Clamp Pearl because we have it. We're in Trick Room, we have Fungus up, and we're muddy watering everything. That was a Gardevoir that just got one shot and a Pachirisu. Get out of here. Here's a Talon Flame and Gyarados. What's he gonna do? Well, I really only have one option. I'm gonna Rage Powder. Look at that. Look at that survive from Life Orb Talon Flame. Fungus. That was a Fungus. Survives, makes sure Clamperl takes this as spread damage. Super clutch. Muddy Water goes up on Talonflame. Does 40% to Mega Gyarados. In comes Spritzy. I need another Trick Room up. I know Clamperl to him is the threat. He's going to try to take out both with a Earthquake. Spritzy's going to take that like a champ because it's not evolved. Who cares? Trick Room goes up and my opponent forfeits. And it's like, wow. Holy God. This team has some potential. I mean... You gonna win something major? No, but if you're going out to have fun, this team is redonkulous. It's just, oh god. Okay, so perfect example of how to have fun. This guy. As we're picking teams, he sends me a message. He he writes in the thing, and he says, "Hold on, can I get this in here?" No. Come on, be nice to me. Wow. He sends it. Yes, perfect. So he sends. So we're we're picking we're picking teams, and he goes, "Do you even little cup?" Which I was like, "Oh yeah, totally little cup." Like that's what I'm doing right now. And I was like, "One time," because I did. I played little cup one time, and he says, "You do realize I will wreck you because you are only little cup." Okay. Never, never have this outlook on life because you never know who's gonna beat you, who is on the other side. Um, who's going to have just a really lucky game? You can never count out any Pokemon. Even though some Pokemon are quote-unquote bad, anything can work, even a whole team of bad Pokemon. So I just replied maybe, because I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't get wrecked. And this is how this game goes. Spritzy comes out, Scraggy comes out, Drivelum comes out, Roserade comes out, and now this guy is going to just rage this whole whole game all right i mean just his friends are in here watching too which is really funny driftlum goes for the minimize i mean like we're i see how this is gonna go rosary poses a huge problem i don't i don't have a great way to stop a grass type without getting clamper in and i need to get it in safely so i'm, I'm sitting out here kind of just snarling around mrs sleep powder because i got the evasion which i copied from uh the, the drift blim i'm gonna keep trying to do a little bit of damage here it's not really effective but i'm gonna eat up this ominous wind too um, toxic spikes in case I switch back out. Uh, put the Drift Bloom to sleep, which was awesome. I go and copy the evasion again. And he's he's over here. His friend's like, no. And then one of his friends leaves. And then and then the guy, my opponent says, no one likes Spritzy or Fungus because like that's meta enough for people to hate. Uh, and Scraggy right now, I'm just trying to, trying to get out of here. I'm trying to have it survive enough turns to get up another trick room. He's missing sleep powders left and right, which is the best it's just the best but i do have plus you know whatever evasion he gave it to me like this is not even my fault he gave it to me i could have copied it from my scraggy i'm not even going for double team even he writes do you now and i'm like yes i even i even i'm little cup and i even spritzy's just gonna stand on this field basically doing no damage but i can't switch in anything for fear of getting you know slept or whatever i need to get clamperl in on a free trick room turn to take out this roserade 
So it's just, he goes and misses Sleep Powder again. I'm just going to sit here, and, and this is the guy who said he was going to wreck me because I'm Little Cup, right? And I'm Starling. Now if Driplum tries to baton pass, he's going to baton pass all these really terrible stats. Scraggy's going to go down here, but I think he forfeits before this happens. I think he just, he just yeah, he goes, OMFG, forfeits the battle. And I sent him, I sent him GG, you know, good game. What would I would have done right now? Probably sent in Fungus to clear the Toxic Spikes. Slept the Drift Blim, maybe hurt him up a little bit more. Or could have sent in the Clamp Pearl. Like, regular Poison, it's not really going to do that much damage anyway. Sleep the Drift Blim, Ice Beam the Roserade. Then proceed to switch to Fungus from Spritzy's position. Then I can further Spore. Or I can Rage Powder and set up the, uh, you know, Shell Smash if I need it. But anyway, moral of the story, don't be this guy. You do realize I will wreck you because you only are LC. No, I did not realize that. And I think he realizes it now too. So, never underestimate anything, especially a full team of Little Cup. You never know what they're going to do. Especially, especially don't underestimate if you don't know what they're going to do. Anything could happen. I know he missed like seven sleep powders, which was funny as hell. But that's what I'm saying. You never know what kind of a game you're going to have. Anyway, guys, um, I'm actually going to give you guys the team paste in the description just because I think it's such a fun team. Um, if we play each other on Showdown randomly, please don't beat me with it because it's really embarrassing to lose to. But it is a lot of fun to use. And um, like I said, I saw someone hit 1350 with it. I would not be surprised if you could hit 1400 with this team. If you do, like, let me know. Like, congrats. I didn't play it enough to do that. It's kind of just like a casual team. I think I pull out now and then. Um, but I thought it was a really funny team and I thought it was ingenious. So credit goes to, you know, I'm not sure if this is her original team or her original idea, but whoever's idea this is credits to you, man or woman or whoever, because this, this was pretty well put together and it, 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 it's just, it's so incredible. This kind of gives you hope. Just, it, it reaffirms that any metagame, you can't be hundred percent stale because there's stuff like this that can still win. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you liked the, it's like a team of, of massive suck, but if you guys liked it, let me know. And, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time.